Decades of war in Afghanistan have brought many consequences, including the onset of the world's biggest heroin industry. And with the amount of land under opium cultivation always on the rise, it's also affecting neighboring Pakistan, where it's now sometimes easier to get high than get fed. And you may find uh, some of the images in Lucy Kafanov's report disturbing. An ambulance rushes to Karachi's largest morgue. Another body is brought in to be identified. There's no shortage of ways to die in this city. Target killings, bomb blasts, and drugs. Abdullah was hoping not to find his father here. He's been searching Karachi for more than two weeks. As a last resort, he checked this morgue. But amid the portraits of the dead, a grim discovery and a familiar face. Abdullah's father was addicted to heroin for almost a decade. Now, he's another one of the drug's casualties. It's going to be hard to break the news to my mother, but this is what happened and we have to face it. There will be tears at home tonight. Tears that Abdullah believes could have been prevented. He says his father tried to quit several times, but in Pakistan there are few treatment centers and plenty of temptation. Pakistan has been flooded with heroin. It's easy to get it and it's even sold out in the open. The police do nothing because they're also involved. And just a few blocks away, a dark underworld in broad daylight. These heroin addicts don't even bother hiding their habit. It's thought that Pakistan has more than 4 million drug addicts, but fewer than 80 dedicated rehab clinics. Help for these junkies may be in short supply, but there's no shortage of heroin on the streets of Karachi. They may be Pakistan's problem, but they share one thing in common with users in London or Moscow. Afghan heroin fuels their deadly dependency. Afghanistan is the world's largest producer of opium, heroin's main ingredient, and it accounts for 90 percent of the global supply. Roughly 40 percent of it is smuggled through Pakistan. It's a multi-billion dollar industry fueled by years of war and instability. Opium production is up for the third year in a row and is predicted to grow even further. And once NATO leaves in 2014, there are fears that the floodgates will open for the spread of the deadly harvest. You are going to get rid of this war, that's good. I support, but you will be inviting another war, which will be very difficult to, uh, to win or to cope up. And that will be the war of drugs. Pakistani security experts want NATO forces to take heed. The Afghan drug trade is the elephant in the room. The biggest challenge which Pakistan has faced is that in all Afghanistan negotiations in 2014, post-withdrawal strategy, Drugs has been left out by the United States, NATO and other European partners as an issue which is not to be considered. The port of Karachi, a key drug smuggling exit point. The city is flooded with cheap heroin, which addicts here say is easier to buy than a healthy meal. And near a busy highway, this hole in the wall serves as a makeshift heroin takeout window. Money goes in and drugs are pushed out into eager waiting hands. I tell myself that I'll stop using this drug for the sake of my children. That's what I'm thinking about. But I can't help myself because my body needs it and the heroin's easy to get. Too easy, it seems. Pakistanis get through an estimated $1.2 billion worth of heroin each year. But Razak says just $1.50 is enough to get him high. I feel it's spreading now. It's gone to my heart. Straight to the heart from the heroin heartland of Afghanistan, a casualty of the poison spreading from the war zone next door.